Hey, and welcome to Vineyard Blog. This is Andrew Lazorchek, and we are at Viadere. Uh, Viadere is at the top of Deer Park, uh, which is in St. Helena. And before we cruise in, uh, let's just take a look around. Um, what you'll see here is actually a little cabana that's a cooking station. Straight ahead is a tasting room. And what's important to note is we're way up above the valley. Um, great breeze and uh, just a nice environment here with, uh, you know, here's your parking for the tasting room. And uh, just a, an incredible place to come up and, and check out. They are an appointment only uh, facility, so you want to call ahead. But uh, a great place to come and check out. And, and here's their, uh, their namesake up on the wall. Okay, so we're on the terrace at Viadere, and we are just looking out over the. Is this the main vineyard? Yeah, so this is the main vineyard, and we have Cab Franc straight ahead of us on camera now. And then coming to the left, we're going into Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, there's a reservoir down below, and you're looking north with Napa Valley, uh, really towards Calistoga right now. Um, and it's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon, evening, and the sun's getting nice and low. And, um, but this is the terrace, as you saw when we came up the hill. It's um, you know, just a, a spectacular view and a gorgeous sight to, uh, to come check out. Um, and then most of the tastings are usually held out here, and they do uh, a bunch of food pairings as well. So they have a, like a lunch that you could reserve dinner and even a, uh, I guess like a, a sunset kind of a appetizer uh, pairing that you could do as well. So definitely a, a fun place to check out and even entertain. Um, we're going to take a walk around the property now and maybe even check out some caves. So come on. So in respect to the viticulture, here's a uh, giant rock field which we're walking by on the way to the cave which is just down here to the left. But this big pile of rocks is all extracted from the vineyards below, um, and that's all part of kind of ripping the soil up to, to allow the, the root structure to, to go down further into the earth. And so this is all rocks that was removed, and I don't know if you get in on it, you can kind of see it's really coarse, and that's uh, just an indication it's volcanic rock, which um, is just indicative of, of both sides of the valley. Um, this being uh, fed by you know the, the old volcano of uh, Mount St. Helena, and I guess there's probably tons of volcanic, and still is with the geysers up in California. Soga and Sulphur Springs in St. Helena. So this is just more indication of kind of what uh, I guess what the French would say is terroir and um, part of what brings minerality and, and earthiness into the grapes here. So now we're going to the cave. So here's a little zigzag path into the cave, um, which should be a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going into the cave and Wow, it just goes on and on and on. It uh, feels like you're in a sci-fi movie, James Bond kind of thing. Um, you're entering into uh, a new depth. Um, so what's really cool is, is they've, uh, they've made it super easy. So almost anyone can kind of come here and just pick up the winemaking. Because here's the 07 Fiedere blend. It's 71 cap sop, 29 cap franc. It shows when it was racked last. And uh, I was asking about you know how often they top, which is every two weeks. So you can see with... This amount of wine barrels, there's a ton of work that goes into keeping, uh, keeping all the wine fresh and from, from oxidizing or going bad. Um, other details, you know, just little things in the floors for drainage. And, um, yeah, this is no small, no small feat. It really goes actually from one side of the mountain um, all the way through uh, with the side arms and apses to the other side. And uh, like I was saying earlier, um, they do all their distribution straight from here. So this is not only the, the growing, the bottling, the aging, fermenting, and whatever. This is this is where it all goes down. Quite a vista. We're at Viadere, and below is a uh, reservoir. In the distance is the west side. Um, yeah, yeah, the west side of, of Napa Valley. Uh, we're probably looking dead over St. Helena, uh, you know, over and down the hill, uh, and then we're panning up slowly into Calistoga. And as I was saying, because it, uh, they had such nice, such nice weather up here, they do a lot of their tastings out on this, this patio. So that's one thing if you uh, do make a reservation and even uh, you know call ahead and, and set up a dinner or lunch or what have you. Um, you know, it's really quite an amazing setting. Be it there. And uh, we did a tasting, although there was another function in the tasting room, so we'll have to come back and, and shoot that. But um, we got a great tour, and actually, right about now we are driving over the cave, which is. Uh, Pretty wild to think about, um, and as you'll see, they have a couple different blocks and, and lots of vineyards. You have all estate grown wine, which is the Via Dare. Uh, they do have a second label called Dare, and that is uh, that includes includes Tempranillo, 
uh, and uh, a few other varieties. They have a Syrah and a Shiraz. One is an Australian clone, and I believe one is a French clone, they were telling me. Uh, and then otherwise, it's all state grown Cab, Cabernet, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Franc. Uh, and then they're doing a lot with. Uh, and they're doing a lot with the Petit Verdot. Um, actually, their their V wine series, it's, it's called V, uh, is actually based on Petit Verdot, which is something you usually don't see. You see Petit Verdot being used for, um, really just for coloration. It's got a great inky color to it, so people will add it to your Bordeaux blends just to add a little bit of, of depth and color to it. Um, but here we are, we're driving out, and um, I guess that was the other side of the cave. This is the main um, entrance. Uh, Via there is is on the on the entrance itself, and this is uh, Deer Park Road. So this is uh, this is this is a serious road, big hill, and uh, actually I believe Cade is up here. So maybe we'll just go take a quick look at Doe. Um, actually, their their V wine series. It's, it's called V. Uh, it's actually based on Petit Verdot, which is something you usually don't see. You see Petit Verdot being used for um, really just for coloration. It's got a great inky color to it, so people will add it to your Bordeaux blends just to add a little bit of, of depth and color to it. Um, but here we are, we're driving out, and um, I guess that was the other side of the cave. Um, 